Morning guys, um, welcome to the second um, edition um, of the seven days of Christmas of shape, uh, using the shape principles. Today I'm going to talk about genuine and real and I had a question and it was in the main the main one when we had that a couple of days ago and, and it was about do you feel you're spending too much money at Christmas, you can't afford that, you're not being you, you're not being genuine, you're not being real um, and that was the question I was going to ask you, but actually something happened to me last night. So I want, this is all about me being genuine and real. So just listen to this recording right through. It'll only be two or two to three minutes. So um, I'm on this wee diet and it's the floss group in the Bulldog Gym in Tenerife. And um, I've been doing really well. It's only 21 days of eating properly. So um, I've been doing absolutely brilliant and it's the last day today. Um, but last night, um, my partner was away helping her sister, etc., babysitting and things like that in her bubble. And um, I was all, I was alone, and I was kind of a bit, a bit fed up with myself. And you know, and I don't, I, I, do you know what? I don't really know the reasons, and I can analyse it today. But um, there was there was a wee hamper that we got from one of my clients' um, uh, suppliers, and it had some chocolates in it. And I said, do you know what? I'm just going to have one chocolate. So I had the one chocolate, then I went for another three, then I went for another five and I ate the whole chocolate and then I was going back in and looking for more and then I had some more. So um, yes, I'm absolutely gutted and I'm really sort of disappointed with myself. But here's the thing, and I was thinking about it last night and I feel st so I didn't sleep till about half past one in the morning because I was hyper with thinking sugar that I hadn't eaten for the, the last 20 days. Um, yeah, I feel disappointed and I've let you know myself down, etc. So what is it? What's the genuine realness about all this? It's not about, now I could go, you know, poor me and just go oh, to hell with it. These diets don't work and blame other things and things like that. I've got to be honest with myself, and then here back to the open and honest, right? It's dig deep and say, right, okay, it's done, but what is it I can really learn from it? Now, here's the thing, I'm fallible, you know? Um, <laughs> I made a mistake, um, but at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. It's about now dusting myself down today, maybe analysing it, writing things out that I can, you know, I can look at. So, you know... In that floss group, there's, there's only about seven or eight of us in that class. So I think they've had to be ups and downs as well. So, you know, probably people look at me and think, oh, well, he's a psychotherapist or something like that. He's perfect. You know, we're, we're not. We're all got our little wee quirks, you know. And it's about being being you. Just being as much as you possibly can of yourself. You know, lumps and all and things like that. So just be careful in Christmas this year that you're just you. You don't need to be somebody else and don't be too hard on yourself. Now, I could be hard on myself and go, I'll stuff it. And I could just say, right, OK, that's the diet gone for now. Another year, I'll start in January again. But I'm not going to. I'm going to actually start again from today and just get back on I'm back on track. Because, um, you know, and the old me, I guess, would, would have just went and went, oh, stuff, stuff the diet, etc. So what is that about for me today? I'm showing you my, hopefully, my genuine and realness, but it's not about poor me. It's not about sympathy. Now, sometimes, you know, we do need a wee break and, and get yourself a wee break, you know, but it doesn't need to be that you say to yourself, poor me, oh, it didn't work and, you know, and fling the towel in. So it's about what is it I can learn from this? What, you know, what is it I can take away? How can I get back on track? How can I get myself feeling better? Now, even me talking live on Facebook today has made me feel a lot bit better. It's got, it's got, it's made me, you know, the ability to get this out. So I'm going to try and restructure my day now. And I actually do feel better. Even my tone of my voice probably is a wee bit better now that I've even said it all. So it just shows you talking and communicating with people as well. Now, I've probably used a lot of principles here today, right? I'm showing compassion. I'm I'm understanding the empathy within myself. Now it is hard, you know. Um, however, I do have food. I don't, you know, my, my life is not falling apart because of COVID. And I know people's Christmases are going to be disrupted now because of the latest news yesterday. But look at yourself and think about, think about the things that we do have, guys. You know, 
uh, get back on track, whatever it is, don't let this news yesterday really spoil who you are as people. Use technology, use everything that we can to communicate with your friends and your family and just be you, be yourself. Um, it's really important. So there you go, a wee lapse from me, the, you know, the, the psychotherapist, ha ha ha, you know, but onwards and upwards and um, tomorrow is about non-judgmental. Catch us later, guys. Thank you.